What's up guys, for today's video, after like a month or two, I'm sorry, but I've been working on my reaction channel, which has like 9 subscribers now, and the link will be down in the description. Make sure to subscribe if you want to, I'm not forcing you to, but yeah. For today's video, I am going to be giving you guys some ideas for last minute stocking stuffers. But without any further ado, let's get into the video. First off, batteries. I mean, obviously you're gonna need some batteries for like a TV remote or like a remote controller of some sort, or maybe even a camera. And you're just gonna want some batteries. I mean, yeah, they're kind of expensive. They're getting expensive, especially Duracell because they have like a 10 year um, plan. Like they, they survive 10 years or they last 10 years. Honestly, I got these like Ravik, Rayvac, which is also owned by Duracell batteries, and I thought that they lasted 10 years too, but it says 10 years in storage. In storage. In storage. In storage. But they're still batteries. They're really good batteries. They're last, they last, they last long. They're long lasting. It literally says in the box. If it doesn't last long, then it's false advertisement. So these are very good stocking stuffers. And you you would always need batteries. So. Okay, next is candy. I mean, who doesn't like candy? I mean, <laughs> unless you're allergic to candy or sugar, but like you can't escape from sugar. Sugar's in almost everything. And if you're allergic to sugar, man, I feel very bad for you. <laughs> but oh, that sucks. But yeah, candy. I mean, whether you don't like some types of candy, but you can get chocolate, you can get peppermint since it's Christmas time. You can even get like treats, like brownies, cookies. You know how they have those little packets of Christmas cookies, you know? I think, I don't know if you know, but I mean, cookies, candy. I mean, who doesn't like candy? You can get Pokemon cards. Pokemon cards, yeah. Pokemon cards or like Yu-Gi-Oh cards, two things that I'm not really interested in anymore, but Pokemon cards, they last long as long as you are like taking care of them. They're made out of paper, so they're not really going to last long if you're bending them and stuff like that. But you can get cases for them if you're like collecting baseball cards or football cards, you can have that. They have a really good value of them. Some of them do, like the Babe Ruth card. Or, like, Michael Jordan card. Yeah, those are, like, really expensive. And you can have that. So, <laughs> that's one of them. And next, you could add, like, some gift cards. Who doesn't like gift cards? Who doesn't like money? You know what I'm saying? I mean, even if you're older, even if you have, like, a car and a license and a life, a gift card, especially, like, a gas station gift card, like, if you have a car... And a license, you're gonna need that gas station gift card. It's always gonna come in handy. You're gonna need that gas. Or maybe even that um, gift card for Whole Foods or Trader Joe's or Walmart or Target. I mean, you're always gonna want a gift card. I mean, that's the most basic gift, and who can go wrong with a gift card? Okay, next one is a wallet. I mean, who doesn't need a wallet? I mean, you're always gonna need a wallet. I mean, you could have your money and your credit card in the back pocket. But if you're wearing baggy clothes, you're definitely going to get pickpocketed. I mean, I mean, I'm not one of those pickpocketers. I mean, of course, but you're going to need a wallet. I mean, trust me. I mean, if you lose your wallet, it's basically equivalent to you losing your credit card or your money without a wallet. But it still comes in handy. You got all your good things like cash and credit. I mean, it's a wallet. Come on. I mean, if you're a woman, you can still have a wallet or you can have a purse. But purses don't really fit in a stocking, unless you have a huge stocking, I mean, a huge stocking. But, yeah. Okay, next is a phone case. I mean, this is a basic phone case, but if you don't have a case on your phone, you are like almost 90%
more more likely to break it. I mean, I have an Android. I mean, don't no hate for that. I mean, iPhone is good and all, but I still like Android. So this case, this case, especially coming from me, because I dropped my phone like I saw it maybe ten times in like all my life with phones. But yeah, this will save your life, really. A case. Okay, next is a toothbrush. I mean, you can't go wrong without a toothbrush. I mean, if you have a toothbrush, yes, of course, you're not really going to need a toothbrush, but it's always good to have a spare because you shouldn't have, like, that one toothbrush for, like, years and years. Like, that. that's disgusting. So, you're going to want this toothbrush. And it's going to be... It's going to be easy to fit in your stocking. I mean, it's going to take up some room, so you're not going to have to peck, peck it with, like, candy. But, yeah. Actually, no, that's kind of ironic. You have a toothbrush, but you also have candy. And it's... <laughs> okay. Last but not least is a phone charger. And I know iPhone is no longer having their phone chargers in the case. Especially with that, I that new iPhone 12. They are not going to have the phone charger. So they're just going to want you to spend more money. More money. That's crazy. It's crazy. So phone charger. I mean, it may be expensive now. I don't even know how much an iPhone charger is. But I don't have an iPhone charger. I don't have an iPhone phone either. So that would make sense. So a charger. A charger. Okay, that was all I have. I hope you guys enjoyed, and make sure you like and subscribe, turn on those post notifications so you never miss a video, and see you guys.